It be loser in the orange versus in the green Aram. Okay, so Aram is nod and so is be loser. It is in fact a nod mirror where they're also going for like pretty mirror strategies. All right, means that there is no advantage for either playing, uh, like to the map and they are definitely in sync both getting up their re uh, refineries pretty much exactly at the same time so they might have just tried to like do this strategy like might have prepared although it is of course just standard stuff going hand of knob then like triple refinery then going into airship each not exactly something we are going to be very surprised about if we do see it. Something which is a little different though is that Aeron is going for the middle field, whereas B Loser is going for the outer field with their like third refinery. So, over here, might just kill that if you're B Loser, and does indeed, although they do take some quite heavy damage themselves for no real reason. Mini Gunner will also die to the Tiberium, alrighty. And both not getting up any buildings, which means that they are very likely getting up an airstrip, both. B Loser has spent slightly more by now. And alright, airstrip out for them. Airstrip slightly later for Adam. So in a buggy race, it should be a benefit for B Loser and, well... I was just a little too late, but Aeron and B Loser both, since they go for the same strategy, were at like minus 25 power for a couple of seconds. And although B Loser had it first, two buggies in the center for Aeron, only one for B Loser, now it's four to three, because Aeron is just quicker with sending their buggies forwards. Because in terms of like straight up buggy numbers, it is still good for B loser. Now in the center it's six to six, which is not a big deal. And now it's eight to six, or now eight to eight kind of, but some of them aren't fighting, so yeah. Both players not taking the best of fights. At least not the best fight they could be taking. And expansion on the sides, it's just pretty even. Although B loser is definitely just like further south already. Right. Buggies, again, like not fighting, not fighting, not fighting, not fighting. Yeah. Both just not taking the best fights ever. Anyway, let's see. And yeah, okay, it was in like minus power for long enough that they did actually get damage and all that. Alright, it's five refineries over there and it is six refineries over there because... I am, in fact, able to count, it seems. Right. Right, I'm able to count this badly that this is five as well. Yep. All right. Great. Anyways, over here, though. Yep, me, or like flamethrowers, going to try and take down the, con the refinery. Should not be able to. However, it was, like, on fire a little bit, so it was taking some, like, DOT effects from the game itself. But the buggies do clean up those flamethrowers. N enough buggies here though to like kill these and then run in to once again try and snipe. Second airstrip is also out over here for Aeron. And now it is for B Loser. But that means that it's a prime target for this many buggies. But going after the refinery first is not a bad idea either. Just because that way you like crippled the economy of the enemy. Not a bad idea, but by now, buggy numbers in favor of B Loser, which means that Aeron shouldn't be able to counter, like, take down the airstrip anytime soon. Starting to mix in at least one or two bikes, which is very nice because that means Aeron will have to micro those down, could, like, uh, do a little bit too much damage on one of them, like, wasting a couple of shots. And. If they don't micro them down, then they will do very good damage. 
Anyways, buggy numbers, bike numbers. Pretty decent over here for B-Loser, even though it should be better for Aeron with the reinforcements being this close by. We'll be pulling out, pulling like some of the other buggies close. But no, B-Loser also moving in in the center. Where buggy numbers are pretty even. So it's hard to say who is going to win this. It's probably going to depend on like how well they keep their units fighting. Like... This is not working, but these two or three aren't either. So, with the new reinforcements, Aeron should be able to win that. But it's pretty still, maybe, right now. Over here, a couple of bikes, which are not exactly great against minigunners, which means that those need to be taken down by the buggies first. So, a little bit of micro on both sides is going to be required. Not a lot of buggies here for B-Loser. So they either need to pull reinforcements close or just get the ones from the rear strip over here. Now with buggy and bike combined, buggies for Aeron will go down. However, in the middle, at the same time, Aeron is having a decent push. Most of the buggies have gone down for B loser. And oh, watch out with that harvester please. It's far forwards. It really is. Maybe not the best that B-Loser is focusing on it. Because they will lose two bikes in the process. And now both sides have a pretty decent push going. Over here there's a turret to defend. So it's not going to be very easy for B-Loser to do anything over here. We do have a good number of buggies still alive. But more reinforcements for B-Loser. So it will be pushed back as well. Stealing a little bit more turbidium, always great. But watch out, because this one could be cornered. And you don't want that thing to go down. Anyways, down south. Turret has been cleaned up. Most of the buggy numbers have been cleaned up as well. But no real damage has been done thus far. And we'll also have to go back a little bit. Not really sure if they had to go back though. Because they could have just pulled the forces close by. Ah... Uh, Difficult to say, of course, especially for the players in the moment, since they are not allowed to just... Hey, I've got great zoom where I can see light tanks in the middle of the map. Right. Anyways, light tanks could be a fun addition. Right, so the game crashed, so I don't know exactly where we were, but I was like, hey, we see light tanks in the middle of the map and a harvester will go down. There is a bit of gridlock for B loser though. So that's also not amazing, and Aeron is having a pretty decent push as well. No bikes mixed in with that composition though, so those medium tanks should, or like light tanks, should be able to do a pretty decent job. Over here though, yeah, Aeron is pushing in as well, and no reinforcement close by for B loser. Means that a harvester could very easily go down, could be trapped over here maybe, but it won't happen yet. Anyways, over here the medium light tanks with... Uh, mini gunners like support. Mini gunners good against bikes, like good enough against bikes. And then the medium tanks to like light tanks to soak the shot from the buggies. Airstrip, it kind of shouldn't go down, but it kind of could go down, and it's going down, going down. And so off, there it goes. Right, light tanks will try to get out because there are a lot of units over here. Over here, turret to defend. All right. B loser doesn't have many units left. This is a strong strike force. Look at the number of bikes. Those can just run in there and take the construction yard. Also, like, yeah, um, Aeron does not have a construction yard left, so kind of have to watch out about that. Anyways, it's uh, good. Going off the power plants, and that is in fact working because uh, that is minus 55 power for B loser. Going to slow down their construction, and maybe going to try and sneak up here to... Nope, going after the refinery. It's a little surprising. I would have expected you to go for the construction yard, but maybe they decided to, like, not do that for some reason? It's hard to call that, of course. I get it, but yeah. I would have expected it to be a better call... Then a refinery, which is not exactly the most efficient. Going after the construction yard now, it's going to be fine anyways. And going to be flamey. Alright, has a little bit of a DOT effect. 
and will sold, be sold off. Means that neither player has a construction yard left. And 32 power for B loser, which means that as soon as one more power plant goes down, they're going to struggle with their uh, production. Over here, flamethrowers will get some really good shots off on those minigunners. But yeah, I mean, Eco is good for B loser, and they are still on positive power. Aeron has a lot of units too, as, at least like vehicle units. Which B loser seems to have a little less of. However, B loser's production should be better. They've still got double airstrip versus just a single Ford Aedon. Maybe consider getting up like five bikes and sniping it. It would lose you quite a lot of units though. Because I don't even think five would be able to do it in this case. Because you would just pull a couple of buggies close by if you're Aedon. To clean those up. Anyways, mini gunners and flamethrowers mixed together. I'm going to take away the health bars, even though like, oh, we want to see if things are damaged. I get that, but it's also like just way easier to see like this. And over here, a lot of buggies. Those should handle mini gunners quite well, but not in if you have enough of them. Mini gunners in very large numbers are even able to just. Damage buggies quite okay. Not amazing, don't get me wrong, but a meat shield in the lightings should be able to handle that quite alright. However, having your meat shield behind is not going to work because that's not how the AI targets things. Anyways, down here, a couple of buggies moving in from B Loser as well. And it's a difficult position for Aedon to push because of the turret. Same over here, of course. However, they seem to have a good uh, time over here since the tanks were just vibing and throwing the turret around without shooting. And now we'll be going back. Engineer is still alive, so might be able to do something. However, I find it highly unlikely. I do. Anyways, over here, a little officer might be cornered, might be trapped, might be like destroyed. And over here, minigunner is moving into the turret. That should be easy enough. That's not going to be a problem. One turret down. Hand of not is also going down. All right, there it goes. Plane throws tried their best, but they didn't succeed and taking down those minigunners in time. Over here, light tanks, medium tanks, and there goes the engineer. All right. Light tanks, medium tanks. There are no medium tanks. Light weird buggies. Crashing buggies. And some light tanks. Against a lot of light tanks. Immediate. <sighs> Against a lot of buggies, though. Over here, flamethrowers should be able to handle those. That's friendly fire, guys, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, um, flamethrowers should be able to handle the minigunners quite okay. If they don't die. Over here, forces for... Iran are cleaned up a little bit. I mean, this one isn't fighting, but on the other side, this these two aren't either. So, again, not a great fight for either player. But look, this is scary. No hand of not close. Power plant going down. And that is two power. B loser can be a little bit lucky, I would say, in this case. But two little buggies down. Turret should go as well. And then it will be quite these quite possible... Turret not going to go down. Interesting. That scene... Um, okay. I would have expected you to go after that turret. Just so that you would have an easier time with your buggies and bikes later on. But not going to see that. Anyways, over here, snipe. A little bit of snipe on a power plant and all that. Not a big deal. I mean, even sniping one of these refineries wouldn't be bad. Or like, wouldn't be a big deal. Just because they're not efficient. Every four officers, alright. And once again, going to try and move in a little bit. Not accomplishing all that much. You do have a do good number of light tanks, though. So those do soak some good shots, but... Um, yeah, you might not have expected it, but... Aeron had a lot of power. Two power plants go down and they still have 80 left. 
Now it's 100 left because, of course, Hand of Nod is gone. Over here, lighting and a couple of buggies. This is just buggies, but now it's mainly just one lighting. Alright, you're pulling your forces this way. Good. And, oh no, watch out. You've got 99 power now, Aeron. And... Stupid game. Yeah, pretty much the same place. Anyways, forces moving forwards for B loser, but now, with a couple of bikes mixed in, we'll be targeted down. So, we'll be pretty good for B loser still. And buggies plus last lightings. Difficult to take down. But airstrip is quite well defended. Taking down the hand of Nod is, of course, going to take away a little bit of production as well. But not the main type of production. B loser still has double airstrip, but neither of them is defended by a turret anymore, so they will have to do it all with units. Of course, taking down the hand of Nod is also great in that, like on that front, just because that means that no hand of Nods are left. That means that turrets would have been great, but you don't have turrets, so actually doesn't matter much anymore. Over here, a almost trap harvester. It is going to go down. And another one, and another one. Good. One is being targeted, the other one is kind of as well. But now, oh, a little bit of a trade. A trade of two harvesters versus one airship could be happening. Doesn't look like it, because not enough of these units got in there. And over here, that harvester should definitely die. Over here, there are no harvesters. This harvester might be taken down by a bee loser. But it's not going to happen anytime soon. Anyways, here Harvester does go down. Uh, should you go take a run, make a run for it? I don't think so, because you would probably lose your own airship if you try. At least, assuming B-Loser notices. Going to defend the refinery, alright. These refineries going down wouldn't be a bad thing. I mean, there is no Tiberium there anyways. But, yeah, I mean, selling off is still better than having them destroyed. Over here, buggy is going down for B loser. All right. However, Aeron does need to watch out with the units. Because in a, like, straight fight between these units and the entire forces for B loser, wouldn't be great for Aeron. Aeron, once again, going to take down a harvester for B loser. And yet... B loser with like a lot more harvested. Like 10k more. Surprisingly enough, maybe? But of course, like a harvester that goes down only now is not going to show up in that list immediately. And in case people are wondering, I would like to change that into like eco per minute later on. But I haven't done that yet. Because just harvested amount is not exactly the most important. Anyways. A lot of units still over here for Aedon. B loser has a couple. But it doesn't look great. I mean, this half, this airstrip is gone. Aedon still with 2k in the bank. A little bit of grid lot, maybe. Most of the Tiberium here is gone. Uh, the rest of it is all on Aedon's side. So it should be, like, easy enough for Aedon to catch up in Eco. And they've just got more army on the field still. So do you expect this one to go to Aeron? And it's not enough. Still 50 power. No, they're on minus power. And the airstrip will go down as well. After that, it's just a hand of nod in production. Nope. Why are you not going for the airstrip now? I mean, it's fine, but like, why? I don't get it. There are no forces here. You really should just take it. All right, you're not gonna take it. Actually, there were two hands of not. All right, sure enough. Anyways, hand of not is sold off. Minus 110 power still. So, oh well. Buggies on this side will probably take down another harvester or two. And just the crippling economy of, like, B loser. Aeron has already caught up like 5,000. 
in terms of eco. And that's in like the last minute or two. So that's very good. Anyways, Harvester will take be taken down. Big Loser did like take up take down a couple of buggies in the meantime, but it's not a big deal. Army numbers are still great for Aedon. A lot of buggies over here, good number of buggies still left down south. And it's definitely going to be a win for Aedon because look at that. They've got the tanks. They got the memo. They understand how strong tanks are. So they've also gone for tanks. Going to try and go ahead for a like total annihilation and it's a sell off for Beluser finally. Good game. 20 minutes. Starting to really get some good matches in the tournament. With very even eco. Alright, so game number two between Aedon in the yellow versus B Loser in the orange. Both of them going for Nod. And on a pretty standard map as well. I'll probably have to toggle this again. Alright. And let's see, what are they going for? Well, just a little bit of a minigunner over here, a couple of them just a scout. And I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel because hey, I have to do that. It's just the only way people will actually click the little button. And with matches like the ones we've seen in the previous game, it's definitely worth it, right? Anyways, double refinery over here and a, a second one over here as well now for B Loser. Who surprisingly enough actually has better eco right now. Only by like 200, so the, the uh, like Harvester was slightly faster. Which also makes sense since the entrance is on the south side. Whereas uh, Aedon's Harvester of course have to go all the way around. Anyways, Minigunner is just running forwards. Scouting, okay, maybe. I mean, you know a little bit of the base. Aedon doesn't know anything yet. And not going to know a lot more over there and decide you're not going to know all that much more either. Alright, both on 5 power because they've got like triple refinery. Likely going to see just another airstrip play soon on both sides. Which, I mean, it makes sense, right? Wanting to get up the airstrip, get your buggies out, get your bikes out. Alright, there it is, and there it is as well. Both on minus 25 power, so get your power plans, get your power plans, alright. Let's go. And hey, Aedon now with actually some pretty okay scouting. B loser scouting still not amazing, but we'll be changing that quickly with this minigunner. Also, in terms of like who gets to the middle field, it seems like B loser, at least with buildings, should be there faster. Aedon still has to go like four, like a power plant, and then like three silos or so over. So that's quite a long way away. Also, cash in the bank for B loser quite a lot better right now, which is. Partially due to the eco. They've got 600 more harvested. Not a lot more though. And now both of them are like almost out of cash. Right. Refinery there. A very good placement because just... Well, it's close to the Tiberium. Having it like down here. Which we've seen before. Is not the, uh, the best. But watch out because yeah, you need to defend it. Damn flamethrowers. Please watch out. Anyways, over here, a little bit of a weird spider maybe, but this field isn't bad either. Don't get me wrong, this is quite a big field. Not sure why you're staying to the left side though. I don't expect you to go for like a crawl all the way here. And then into like turrets or something or like hand and nod. I don't expect that. But why else would you go to a, for a like left crawl? The loser kinda knows about it, kinda doesn't. Wait, the reinforcements have arrived? Alright, good. Sneaking a couple of buggies over there, alright. Okay, Aaron, I wanna know what you're going to do over here. 
Are you going like second airstrip already? Would be a bit quick though. I mean, you do have one, uh, five officers, like five refineries. All oh, right, it is there indeed. Same over there. Well, five. Yeah, five is not very quick, but you're not able to keep up production of both the entire time. But I guess it also kind of explains the like left crawl because the airstrip is able to like get you to the right quite easily again. Anyways, over here middle, quite a decent fight, which should be a good one for B loser with the turret as well. They are cleaning up most, if not all, of the things there. A little bit of a sneak, but it doesn't do anything. However, are these units able to sneak or like launch an attack right now? Yep, they do. The construction yard goes down. And I really should have had the help us up. Because I didn't even realize it was that close to going down. Anyways, bikes and buggies in the middle. Good thing you've got that second uh, refinement or like airship out already. Because this one is a little bit in danger. Still in a little bit of danger. Is it in a lot of danger? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Anyways, over here, a couple of buggies, a couple of bikes for Aeron as well. Moving in. But should not be able to do all that much. Considering that the forces for b loser are just better over here. And they've got quick reinforcements. However, eh, pulling back over here to your two turrets is also great. And, well, this is not something you can easily take down right now. Would be fun to just see some SSMs over here and just launch rockets at it. We're not gonna see that, at least not anytime soon. It's just too expensive for b loser to try that. Because if they do try it, it's just going to be, like, well, taken advantage of because you spent a lot just to get one SSM out. In the meantime, B or uh, Aeron would of course just get more units out. And since their eco is like pretty much even, you really can't afford that. Over here, Harvester, like refinery, does go down. Even though there are two turrets, yep, just sniping it and running back, you don't take too many losses. And well, next up, just two turrets with not a lot of other like forces close by. So yeah, turrets do have like good HP, especially against buggies, but with no support, one turret or even two turrets is not going to be like enough, are going to be enough to hold off that many forces. Construction yard is still alive, so you could still buy new ones. But that's also very clear that nope, you do not have the luxury of going for an SSM just to please me in order to like kill the airship from the other side of the river. Not something that's going to happen. Why is this like that? I've only seen it this time, right? Yeah, I mean this one is pretty much the same. It seems off in terms of like, I thought it wasn't that bad other times. Here it's not that bad. Hey, come on, don't do that. Okay, we are a little bit back. And we do now see some light things. And sneaking into like... Well, not really sneaking, but like attacking the power plant. Not a big deal, but uh, yeah. 74 power left. Over here, quite a good number of buggies. On the other side of the construction yard compared to the one from B Loser. It's very close to going down. And it's being sold off. It would have gone down most likely. With a little bit of better micro. In terms of like just pulling your units down south a little bit, hitting the ones from Aeron, it probably could have stayed up. But of course doing that is a bit difficult. That means that neither player now has a construction yard and Eco is in slight favor of Aeron. I don't think it's a big deal. And middle field is like way better for B loser, even though it is a, of course a contested field. But that is also like the only field b loser has access to right now. They can't go to the other side of the river where Aeron has a lot, a lot of forces and even refinery. 
So Eco is slightly better for 800 right now, but expect that Eco lead to become a lot bigger. Just because the refineries and harvesters for B loser are not efficient. Also, I'm not sure how much those two buggies are going to matter, but they are there. Anyways, over here, couple of units for B loser, but not actually that many. Bikes are taking some decent shots, and maybe we'll see a little bit of a sneak with these or taking down the officer. Wouldn't be a bad thing, of course not. Going for power could, of course, also work. But again, Aidan loves their power. They're still on 180 plus power with this one already half dead. So it's not gonna be a big deal. Over here, the middle forces are way better for Aidan as well. And again, 120 power after the power plant goes down. Yep. So even this one going down is not a big deal. Aidan's forces, no, army number is way better. Over here, it's a little bit of a stalemate. You can't really pass this very easily. But again, this, look. Oh, stupid, go away. Uh, yeah, this, very efficient. Right up to the Tiberium. This one can still go there. Whereas, like, yeah, B-Loser only has access to this field. Their home base, which is, like, run out. The southern side is quite far away for all of their harvesters. And that's it. They really can't get to any others. Aidan now does need to repair this one because they're on minus 26 power. So they really need to repair that in order to keep their production up. And oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. b loser already with the, in my opinion, worse eco. And then losing a harvester. That sucks. Losing a refinery at this stage of the game is not a big deal, just because they're not efficient anyways. So you can have two harvesters for a single refinery. But the other way around, losing a harvester right now is very bad. Four of them are over here. Alright, that's a fifth one. You've got five. Alright, five harvesters versus... Three, four, five... Alright, so it's just going to be the efficiency for Aeron which should help them. Other than that, the eco is pretty similar. But yeah, this field is almost out. Which means that you would then have to go to this field. Which is a lot more difficult to defend. This field, like, is easy to defend just because you're already holding this position against the counterattack. This one, your harvester could very easily go down. Having a couple of things here, like buggies, sit there. Could already trap the harvester quite easily. And over here, well, most of Aeron's forces aren't fighting, so it's not a bad fight for b -loser right now. However, if they move in here further, it could become a bad fight. Uh, it's difficult to say, of course, but over here, oh no, no. That's another two harvesters just being shot at. Not exactly something you want. Over here you can't really move those forces. And if Aeron wants to. They could probably move in. But of course having the like small pass on the river. Would make it a little bit difficult. Over here if Aeron fight this. They could definitely kill these forces. And possibly the harvester. And it's starting to look like another win for Aeron. But it's not over. Until it's over. If Aeron, like, takes some really bad fights, which I don't think they're going to, but of course it's possible. b loser still has a chance. Maybe getting a sneak out onto an airstrip somehow could get them back into this game, but I don't really see it happening. Army number for Aeron is just better. They can pull some of these forces north if they need to or want to. Or even just move them forwards. Aedon's eco lead has now expanded to 6,000 harvested. And we can definitely see that in terms of the army which is still alive. Attrition is pretty even. But of course also in slight favor of Aedon. 
one of the most efficient, even though it's a horribly efficient refinery, it does go down. Poor B loser. And B loser now trying to hold this field safe as well. But they're spread out very thin. They've got to hold on here on the very north, and that means that the middle is just not good. Aeron is able to hold both positions with, well, equal or even better forces and able to push in the middle at the same time. So another harvester is heavily damaged and dead. So, right. What are you going to do, B loser? You're pulling your forces here, but that means your entire, like, north the northwest side is exposed. That means the harvester can go down. And it probably will, since I do see Aton going for it. And another one is close by. And it's GG. Game 2 goes to Aton. B loser Aton. Round, like, game number 3. With B loser in the orange. Versus Aeron in the blue. Starting position pretty much even, but hey, Aeron with GDI, B loser with GDI. We've not seen that happen yet. Both of them have been playing not thus far. Thus far. And alrighty, the refinery, and of course, here is a refinery too. Eco on this map is going to be like, in terms of efficiency, going to be even, since it's both like, side access. And, well, B loser going for a, well, less efficient refinery, and also like, not exactly faster. <laughs> Silo was quick, and then Aedon's like, second officer was also like, quick, second refinery. Bases are pretty easy, easy to defend, just some water access, like, small... Entrances, not exactly very small since it's still like three spaces wide total, but it's also not great. Both players have the same thing, of course. And there is also like a single tile of access over here. Again, not something I expect was going to matter all that much. B loser, not exactly great scouting since the grenadier does go down, and Aeron scouting is pretty much the exact same. And their minigunner is not going to go down yet, but maybe if it just runs into this field, it will. On the road again, alright, does not give you a movement speed bonus. And really nice to see like the like ground patch for both refineries here. Access to the to the roads. And not dead yet. All right, good. Aeon scouting, uh, that means it is a better. Indeed it is. All right, four refineries over here. Five over here already. Is Aeon going for a war factory? Most likely. Is B loser going for one? Most likely, yes. All right. Is that going to matter? Probably. There it is. All right. Speed. Be loser. What is the speed of your re or like war factory? When is it going up? You don't want to have like. There it is. That's safe though. Not that safe is a bad thing, but it's safe. Uh, that means that the reinforcements are going to be slow. Light scout. All right. That makes sense. Those are quick. Same over here, probably just a scout. But if you want to make up, make some tanks, it's going to take a long time before those get access to the enemy base. Oh well, three light tanks, or like light scouts over there. Medium tank coming out for Aeon. This war factory, of course, being further to the front, is going to be faster with, like, reinforcements. But it's also slightly more vulnerable, though... Not sure what you would prefer, having your war factory vulnerable or your construction yard. Anyways, second one out already. Quite quick, of course, after just like five little refineries. But that also means like the problem of one having being in the back is mitigated quite a lot. Especially if this one is on priority. Light scout over here, it's again just to scout. So it will not really be a big deal. 
almost cleaned up. But not quite. Anyways, already four little tanks out over here. Quite a couple of grenadiers there with just two tanks. Expansion though, way better already here with like double barracks as well. Another barracks over there. Aeron's expansion is going very, very well. And of course, tanks not exactly great against grenadiers unless they run them over. In which case it's not a big deal. To be facing off against a lot of grenadiers. You don't do that. They could pose a big problem to you. Because they do a lot of damage. So. This is also a problem. Like Tanks just do not hit them. Like who? Wow. This tank has been shooting at it for like 10 seconds. Maybe, maybe even 20 seconds. And only now it's dead. Yeah. That's the problem with tanks against infantry. They just don't hit very well. Forces over here for B loser are quite strong. Uh, like a mainly vehicle composition without that many like anti-vehicle forces here in terms of tanks. Grenadiers are just strong against everything of course. But they do need to get their shots off. And against Humvees that is quite difficult. Over here though, with no real opposing forces, but watch out for the explosions. One refinery going down, including the officer, which is quite a big deal. Is very nice. Don't lose, you didn't lose that many uh, grenadiers in the process, if you're Aedon. So all in all, not a big deal. Aedon still floating like a little bit. And does have second war factory out as well. Five tanks down, down south. Three in the middle and just three up north as well. Maybe B loser is able to launch an attack from this side. But they really need to pay attention to those grenadiers. If they want to do that. In the middle as well, they've got more forces. But then you would need to pay attention to like not being pincered by the southern forces for Aedon. Anyways, over here, a little bit of a strike force with the Grenadiers for Aedon. It's not really going to matter. And more Eco. Eco is actually like surprisingly even. If we look at it. I'm a little surprised actually, with like a Harvester for B Loser going down earlier. I would have expected Aedon to be ahead by quite a decent amount, but apparently not. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 versus a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, right, no, that actually makes sense then. Surprising that Aedon isn't ahead more. Anyways, over here, midi. Not many grenadiers. Forwards a little bit, but we'll be taken down mostly. And neither player is really attacking, because where can they attack? Well, Aeron might be able to attack here, and they will try to with a couple of grenadiers. Might see a little bit of a sneaky outpost. Nope, we're going to see a crash. Continuing on just where we left off. With Aeron moving in over here. And I've got a toggle. Alright, there we go. With, of course, power plant going down, not going to be a big deal because, look, both players have more than enough power. 365 for B loser, 225 in the reserve for Aedon, not a big deal. What I wanted to say earlier before the crash was, like, maybe we'll see a sneaky little outpost. Nope, we saw a sneaky little crash. Anyways, over here, good number of things moving in for B loser. But Aedon moving back a little bit, trying to pincer with a good number of tanks of their own. But now they should really should pull those southern forces north. Because otherwise that's not exactly the best fight. Still not a gr not a bad fight this for Aedon. But still, could have been way better if they had just pulled these forces together. It would have been way better. Yeah. If they pulled them together it would have been way better. Yes. Right, and now they do. Alright. Just a couple of tanks left. Six or so. 
And up north, no sneaky attacks in the meantime. Both players still having the construction yard up. Alright. And this is a very scary force by Adam. Tank cleaned up. Two dead harvesters. At least they could be very dead. Over here, now trying to take down those tanks. Should not be a big deal. And the problem, or like the nice thing about like the little river, is it easy to, def to defend. But that also means that once the enemy is on this side, it's easy to defend for them. And that means dead re refinery, including harvester, dead refinery, possibly including harvester. It is including the harvester. It's starting to swing very badly for B loser. Because they can't deal with this many tanks. This number of tanks is just too much. Another possibly, or like this, I should be dead harvester. It is being pulled back, so it sh could survive. Yeah, okay, that will survive. But now just pull those tanks over and you kill these forces. In the meantime, oops, yeah. Couple of seconds and all of a sudden B loser has pulled ahead by five to six thousand cash. 2400 in the bank. And not really anything B loser is able to do against it. Up north their forces aren't bad and this harvester could go down. Could easily be trapped as well. So that's not too bad for B loser. But here once again like more tanks for Aeron. Can just kill these three, can run over the over the grenadiers. Not really anything B loser is able to do there. Though with these six tanks, seven tanks pulling this way as well. Maybe they're able to do something, but I don't think so, and B loser didn't think so either. They gave up, and it's three to zero for Aeron. Most likely because they were choked out of Tiberium. This field is not available for B loser, nor is this field. They just had this little corner which just is not enough. And with no eco, you can't produce and that means the enemy kills you. The Orcas would have also been able to finish B loser off. So, well done that you made it this far into the video. Consider watching the video in your lower left. But that's all I'm going to have for you today and I'll see you in another video. Bye.